Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we answer a question directly off of a YouTube video. Unfortunately, while I was recording this episode, my face cam failed. So I'm just recording this beginning part right now, but we're going to dive straight into the DAW for the rest of the episode. This time on Tim Talks Audio, we answer a YouTube comment asking how to transform audio to MIDI. On my video about saturation, Bobby E asked the question, how to create MIDI from audio? There's multiple things that you can do. If we're taking drum hits and want to create triggers, we can use that within the quantize menu. If we want to create MIDI from an audio file, like a bass guitar or a vocal line, we can actually use Melodyne to do that. Marcus Huskins created a video a while ago on how to take drum hits, put them into the groove extractor, and pull the MIDI out to create drum triggers from our performance. Here's a quick recap of that. I have a kick drum right here. I'm going to go into my quantize menu and the groove menu right here. I can click and drag my kick track into this groove pattern, and it'll create the groove right here. Then what I can do is click and drag this back out and create a new track. Here, it created a blank instrument track with no instrument associated with it. But if we zoom in real close, we can see that it created a note for every hit according to the groove extractor. I wanna thank Marcus Huskins for creating that video a while ago and showing us all how to do it with the groove extraction method. This is a great way to pull in MIDI triggers very quickly from drum performances. Let's take a look on how to extract audio notes from a performance. Now what we'll do is we'll create MIDI notes from the bass guitar right here. And to do this, we can use Melodyne. I've selected my audio file and I'm gonna hit Command M. And this will open the file inside Melodyne. It'll take a little bit to detect your audio, but once you have it, you'll notice in the region itself, there are notes and you can double check them inside the Melodyne editor. You can use this with Essentials or anything up from Melodyne and Essentials comes bundled with your pro version of Studio One. Now with our newly created MIDI, we can do a very similar thing we did with the drum hits. Unfortunately, we're not able to just click and drag the MIDI out of this file. But what you can do is create a new instrument track. I'll go ahead and just put an instance of presence on here. And then from here, we can click and drag. Now it took just the MIDI information that we created using Melodyne and dropped it onto this instrument channel right here. Unless you have a higher version of Melodyne, it will only detect monophonically. So you'll have difficulty with things like strummed guitar or played piano chords to create the MIDI from them. But with MIDI, you're able to duplicate things and put the notes into anywhere you want in the key, creating more polyphonic sounds within your song. That's all for now. If you found this video informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And just like Bobby did, if you have a question, ask it in a comment and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.